All right, guys, we're back from Gambling Cube Chat. Thank you to to John and Will for joining us. Uh, 14,000, uh, over 14,000 people were in that, in that Survivor Contest, 221 left. So good luck to, to John on that this week. If you're still in a Survivor Contest, uh, good luck to you. I, I know we give you guys Survivor picks. I'm terrible at it, and Bear's not here, and that's Bear's job. So I'm going to let that one pass. We'll go to my, my fade of the week here. Uh, we're going to fade offense in Denver this weekend. The Chargers off a of bye at the Broncos here. The total is 35 and a half. I'm not worried about it. I'm taking the under in this game. Let's talk about these offenses. Now, Bo Nix has done better for the Broncos the last couple of weeks. They got up to three wins now, but the offense is not scoring a lot of points. Only 6% of the Broncos' drives and the touchdowns, second worst in the NFL. 53% of their drives even gained one first down. Guess what? Second worst in the NFL. They also punt on 24% of their drives. Guess what? Second worst in the NFL. Guess who's worse in the NFL? The Chargers. 52% of their drives get, get, uh, get, get, get a first down. 26% of the drives and then punts. The Chargers, I believe, are getting their tackles back. But both these defenses on these teams, guys, are very good. They're really good. They're first and second in defensive points allowed. They're second in DVOA for the Chargers. Broncos are fourth, uh, allowing under 15 points a game are both these teams. So I think we see a defensive game. Just and, and the way that these teams want to operate offensively, right? It's sort of protect your quarterback, which you shouldn't have to do with Herbert. But that's the way the Chargers feel. Run the football with Harbaugh. On the football with Payton, both both coaches subscribe to the idea, at least right now, that ending a drive and a kick is a positive, which means a punt or a field goal or a PAT, of course. So give me the under here, low total. We're fading offense uh, under 35 and a half. All right, let's get to our best bets presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Bear is not here. He's stuck on the side of the road, but I'm going to give you guys his best bets for Thursday Night Football. It's Niners minus three and a half. That's it. I don't have a reason. Bear's not here. <laughs> he said uh, best bet here, minus three and a half. Uh, my best bet presented by DraftKings Sportsbook, and we finally got in the, in the, in the win column last week, guys. It's been a little bit rough for the best bet. We had we lost three. We had, we had a tie. We pushed, and we won last weekend. Let's go Packers here. Team total over 26 and a half. Jordan Love has come back. The Packers offense has sort of reignited itself. We saw the 29 points against the Vikings. Only 24 last weekend, but there were sort of plays to, to still be had. But guys, Arizona's defense allows a lot of points, 25.8 uh, per game. They're not very good efficiency-wise, and they're sort of back on the road again after a big win. So it's sort of like a, a a best bet with a lot of points for the Packers, but also maybe a fade of the Cardinals off a big win. The Niners had 23 points the first half of that game and were not able to do much more, which is which is kind of surprising. The Niners should have won that game. They didn't. No second half points. So give me the Packers here. Over 26 and a half points uh, is my is my uh, my best bet presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. And that's it, guys. We did it. We did the game of group chat. Gave you a little bit of Jets. Gave you our best bets. A fade of the week. We'll be back next week to talk college football and then the NFL. Have a great weekend of wagering, everyone. Take care. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.